Hello, everybody, and I bet a ton of you might be wondering uh, where the heck I've been dropping off the face of the earth for several, several months. And there's a bit of a story behind that. Um, uh, this is going to contain some very mild spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. I will try to keep things as vague as I can uh, to avoid saying more than necessary, but I do apologize for those who will understand what the hell is going on here. I apologize for the vagueness. Um, the footage in the background is just me scouting a hunt train from several days ago, uh, just to get something back there, so feel free to ignore that if you would like. Um, but the long and short of it is, um, for the better part of several months, we're talking nine months here or so at this point, um, I have been the recipient of some sock puppeted harassment, um, Because basically said person doesn't really agree that uh, a certain character who showed up at the end of Endwalker, not, sorry, the end of Shadowbringers, uh, the first reception was not very positive, um, quite actually understandably so. Uh, this character, I had been anticipating their arrival for actually several years, and in discussions, um, of which there was only really one place I engaged uh, outside of very, very sporadic, uh, isolated incidents, have interacted with any uh, Final Fantasy XIV community as a whole. Um, yeah, in some discussions there, yeah, granted I was a bit of a white knight, you know, I'd been anticipating this character showing up for a long, long ass time. Um, so of course, you know, that's gonna, my excitement is gonna paint my bias and whatever, but uh, I, I did feel at the time people were, were being a bit too unnecessarily mean because immediately after this first encounter, the game was flat out telling you this whole thing was sus as fuck. And people decided to kind of ignore that, which admittedly did piss me off a little bit. But even I was not against engaging in, you know, some uh, lighthearted uh, negative feedback. Um, and at the time I even flat out said, I'm like, okay, my, my, I understand, uh, some of this early unnecessary hatred is not unwarranted anymore, like, you do you, just, like, cool it a bit kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, not long after that, um, I got a very hateful and spiteful message with a crap load of speculation that had already since been proven false by the very few bits of information we did already know. Um, yeah, there were quite a lot of mean things said in there, uh, about me in particular, and because not only did this contain, um, occasionally things I had said, but since I had only said them in, uh, outside of, uh, maybe one or two personal friends, only within this community, I know this person was also associated with that community. Um, which, after a short time, I ultimately ended up leaving, which, uh, to this day still kind of upsets me because I did meet a lot of great people from there, um, some of which I still actually talk to to this day. Um, but it frankly was just not a wise I idea for me to engage in that place anymore if somebody was going to be, you know, this spiteful and hateful about it. And it didn't stop at that first message. That first message I did kind of vague post about uh, at the time when it happened. And, you know, I talked about it with a few friends and things like that. And I stayed completely silent otherwise after that fact. Um, what I didn't come clean about until very recently is these sort of messages didn't stop. And still have not stopped. Um, and I believe it, at this point, I kind of believe it to be not just one person, but, you know, like a person and, you know, one or two of, the, of their friends. Um, why they want to do this, I don't know, but basically every mean thing anyone has ever said about this character has been forwarded to me, one way or the other. 
Uh, if it has been pub posted anywhere, uh, it has gone in my direction. And... Yeah, I have actually read through most of these messages. Um, simply, number one, because I want to know who the hell this asshole is. And number two, I want to see uh, if the things they were parroting to me were in fact true. They were. Um, because they had names attached to um, things such as forum posts, uh, tweets, uh, th things, things of that nature. Basically, it wasn't just the post itself that was sent to me, it was the moniker of the person who sent this post. Uh, which is another reason why I didn't come clean and share any of this, because uh, as much as these people are saying very, very terrible and mean things, such as death threats, calls to violence, uh, both against a fictional character, which I know that sounds kind of cringe, but against the, the real, actual people who are doing anything but speaking negatively, let's put it that way, um, was not cool. And despite the fact that that behavior is not cool, I'm, I don't have an intention of doxing people without knowing the source of who is compiling this information. Um, I'm not in the market of that kind of doing that. I would like to see this person and or their friend sent to account and preferably removed from the community that I remove myself from. But to this day, I still, I, while I have suspicions of um, who might be behind it, I am not gonna reveal said suspicions because that is one hell of an accusation to make and I am not comfortable making that without being damn certain of who the hell it is. Um, but as a result of all this, um, yeah, I kind of took a huge step back from, um, interacting in pretty much any Final Fantasy XIV fandom space. Now, despite the fact that this is something that I, I am, was and am still passionate about, you know, that I was a content creator for this, I still have two and a half year old episodes sitting on my freaking hard drive, like, some of which are, like, fully edited, that I don't think I will ever let see the light of day, because, number one, I don't want to put that kind of target on my back, um, but the main thing is, I am not the only person who's been harassed in, not necessarily this exact manner, um, but I've known role players who have gotten shit in game, uh, which is not cool, like, I'm not a fan of the RP community for a number of different reasons, but uh, they don't deserve this crap, okay? Like, people RPing in a space away from you, leave them the hell alone. Just just leave them the hell alone. Don't do this kind of crap. Um, and a lot of the reason I ended up did coming clean is eventually messages culminated in me getting in... Basically, in response to um, the new custom deliveries NPC, which will be revealed. Um, my, uh, bit of a spoiler for those who don't know. Yeah, this is this character's wife. Um, if you haven't figured out who the hell I'm talking about by now, um, and you're in the know, now that's your bleeding. Uh, yeah. Um, so I got a lot of not safe for work images drawn my way. A lot of it. And I have nothing against not safe for work content. Um, I have nothing against polyamory, um, provided uh, consent is involved. And including every single asterisk that comes with consent. And I mean every single asterisk that comes with consent. Uh, and one of those things is you do not send people not safe for work art without their consent. I don't care that I'm not offended by the actual material in it, even though some of it was kind of cringe and included some of the same hateful things um, that had been previously forwarded to me. I'm not concerned about the content of the art itself. Uh, I take issue with the fact that it was forwarded to me without consent. I take issue with the fact that some of these people posted these things without any sort of not safe for work warning and thus exposed it to people who have not given it their consent. Um, and that's kind of a thing that is a big deal to me. If I want to view not safe for work, if anyone wants to view not safe for work art, they should know what they're, what they're getting into before it's thrust in front of them. And that goes for everyone and everything. I'm not cool with that. Again, it's not the content that was 
posted within it, it's that it was forwarded without consent of the viewer knowing and signing up for that. And yeah, I'm not a fan of that. And, um, but that's, that's the reason I ultimately came clean. That's ultimately obviously not the reason I've been absent from posting videos. And that is because, number one, I'm not putting a big fat target on my back. Um, because some of the opinions I have, uh, towards Shadowbringers, and especially the lead-up of going into Shadowbringers, at which point, um, there were a lot of leaks coming out and things like that. Uh, not all- not everything about Shadowbringers was positive to me. I found Shadowbringers to be a very mixed bag, uh, with very high highs where it was good. It was really good, but where it was not good, I actually downright hated it in some parts. Um, it was a very, very, very mixed bag for me. Um, it, it was just, for me, uh, regarding how I felt, it was just whiplash. Like, it, I either loved it or I hated it. There, there was, uh, I don't want to say there was no middle ground for me during any of that, but it, it, for me, it was more divisive for me personally and how I felt and reacted to the whole, the expansion of every expansion. Including one of the fan favorite patches, which to this day I will still say, because I hated certain parts of it so much, I still say was the worst patch. Um, and my opinion has not changed in that matter. I have softened it a little bit and don't hate it as much as I did before, but yeah, I still think it was the worst. And yes, I do think it was worse than, than 2.1. Um, yeah, I'll go for as far as to say, as to say that. That's, that's how divisive I feel about the expansion as a whole. So... If people, if somebody or a small group of people hate me this much for my opinion on one individual character, how much are people going to hate me because I don't care for a fan favorite of theirs that that was reintroduced in Shadowbringers? And I can't put myself out there for that. And not only that, but this isn't just about me, uh, me and people saying mean things on the internet to me. It's not so much about that, but this whole encounter has kind of opened my eyes a lot to the sad reality that the Final Fantasy XIV fandom paints itself as this nice, big, welcoming, uh, tolerant place. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a part of it, or if, you're, if you know someone a part of it, um, as you're watching this or listening to this, you are not. You are not. There is so much casual toxicity in this place. It is absolutely disgusting. Um, at least other fandoms that might be even, like more openly toxic, at least they're open and honest about it. Like, they're they're not a wolf in sheep's clothing about it. Uh, 14 fandom, you most definitely are. And it kind of disgusts me that uh, upon, you know, in my trying to figure out how much of this shit forward to me has been real, you know, like... You know, like who do who who's got a really shitty take and whatever do I need to block? Like you know, like all that sort of thing. Uh, just just my in, you know involvement in the the very silent response for months I've had to this whole incident has made me discover that no, it's not just this character who's gotten shit. It's p it's other people who are into other things, most of which are completely fine and innocent. By the way, I'm not. There are some disgusting behaviors that I'm not condoning. Uh, we're not going to get into that right now. But some of it has been rather gross. And there have been people who are into other things, even innocently so, who have also faced things such as calls to violence and death threats and doxing and that sort of thing. And I'm not cool with that. And I'm not cool with associating myself... Um, openly so with a fandom who does this sort of thing and like I am just so disappointed and disturbed and I, I just got a lot of salt about a lot of things regarding it and it's been hard for me because this is a passion I have I want to sh openly share this passion I enjoy discussing things with people even when people disagree with me even when I'm wrong like, it's okay to be wrong, people. Like, it's okay. It's also okay to disagree about certain things. But it, it should not involve calls to violence uh, in-universe or out of it. Like, that is not cool. And, like, it, like, I'm legitimately worried about the mental state of a ton of people regarding this. Like, 
holy crap, people, like, please go outside and touch grass. Like, I'm someone who holds up in my house all day. I work, I work third shift. I have one friend who I see on a regular basis in the physical flesh, and he's a co-worker of mine, for F's sake. Like, go outside and touch grass. I see this as someone who needs to go outside and touch grass. Please, like... Leave people alone. Like, it's okay to have disagreements and m just minor petty arguments from time to time. But holy crap. Like, this is, t I, this is taken to a level I have never seen in my nearly 40 years on this earth. Like, I'm just, just so, just, wow. And I just don't know what to do with myself for this channel anymore because I really wanted to push myself to just, just at least finish Thornball and just leave it at that. Let's, let's put a closure on this chapter, but I don't even think I can do that. I, I really don't, like I said though, some of that fo like footage is literally two and a half years old, almost pushing three at this point. Um, it, and, that, and that's a really, really, really long time. And like, I do apologize, you know, about my mom and getting that, all that out there before this, all this even happened in the first place, but... I just, I don't know what to do with it now. Like, there, there are a lot of things I, I would like to discuss about this game and, and share about this game, you know, like, positive and negative. Um, my experience playing through Endwalker... There was, even though, obviously, in hindsight, when you have time to re-examine it, you know, yeah, I do have a ton of nitpicks about Endwalker, but playing through the main scenario, there is literally one thing in my notes, because I took notes along the way, there is only one point where I said, I actively do not like this. One. Uh, my, despite, you know, knowing how I felt mixed I felt during Shadowbringers, um, I it did kind of go into Endwalker, um, not as excited as I really should have been. Um, I was ambivalent about my experience going into it a lot, um, partially as a result of some of this targeted harassment, but um, just in general, I just was not really feeling the hype, and yeah, um, it definitely delivered. I very, very much um, enjoyed my experience of it, and I actually really wish the footage I did record, which... It, um, I do record, like, as I play patches, um, just so I can go back to, um, like, if I need to pull, you know, dialogue or a quote or something like that in discussions, you know, like, I have something to, to, to fall back on and the sequence of events and things like that. I really wish I had recorded it in higher quality. Um, I didn't, just for the sake of, uh, obviously, you know, hard drive and resource management and and things like that but i would have loved to have posted um some like short clips um and basically just text reactions to, to some of this i didn't do a uh, vocal recording reaction because obviously sometimes i play in the middle of the night and i'm not gonna wake my neighbors that that that's not cool of me to do um but yeah the images are just not great quality it's, it's just enough quality that you can see what's going on but not really quality to really put yourself out there over which I'm kind of disappointed by but um yeah hindsight is 2020 um but I like I really wish I, I could put a lot of that positive reaction I had out there but I I don't feel safe doing so I don't feel comfortable doing so um there are still there are only a few 14 content creators I actually even watched or even have watched over the years, but even I have kind of distanced myself from consuming them simply because, like, I mean, it's not their fault. I just being around some of the aspects of this fandom just just kind of just puts me on high alert. It makes me a lot more careful about what I say in any capacity and, you know, thus I say the wrong thing to freaking trigger someone to go on a tirade on someone else because someone made a criticism of their favorite character, even when sometimes criticism is completely warranted, like, and it's like, you are allowed to like or dislike a character for as petty reasons as you want sometimes, you know, like, your moral stance does not necessarily need to align with that of a character. Villain fuckers are a thing. Like, you know, there are harmless ways to, you know, consume forms of media and forms of entertainment without condoning what certain characters do. But I do not condone, you know, calls to violence, calls to doxing, call, you know, death threats and things like that. And all that sort of shit has been happening. 
And I'm like, where did it all go wrong? Like, how do I safely consume and share something that I like around a space where I'm not sure if the next person I interact with innocently or not is going to react innocently or not, uh, you know? So, yeah, so I don't know if I want to just go back and just do, um, before I got involved into this 14 mess, just go back and do some of the old things I did, you know, like old old adventure games or old television games. I, I honestly, I don't know yet. Because um, a lot, some of my time is taken up by the fact that uh, I become a member of the hunt community. Um, as you see, I'm scouting a hunt train here. I do this literally every single morning. Um, I am also an S rank spawner, so I've gotten a lot involved in a lot of that. So I don't really have as much free time to like sit down and um, do the things the way I did in the past. I mean, t I, I could, you know, manage my time better and, you know, make sort of some compromises, you know, where need be, that sort of thing. I'm not saying like I don't have any time at all to do such a thing. Um, but it would be something I would have to, like, plan out and not just be like, oh, hey, I want to record 20 minutes to be playing a game today kind of thing. Um, I, I would, might be interested in doing, if any of you who play Final Fantasy XIV alongside with me, um, I might be interested in doing some kind of Q&A if you're curious about, uh, how I feel about certain things. I'm not 100% on that, but, um... That might be a safe way for me to to kind of engage and especially kind of engage with my audience who have been kind of neglected. But um, I do thank those of you who have supported me throughout the years. Um, I really wish I had something more for you here, but um, here we are. Um, this is where we stand. And um, if you see anyone making any sort of untoward uh, threats and mean things about people like please call out that kind of behavior and please shut it down where you can because I don't I don't care if this is not even not exclusive to this fandom as a whole like don't do that like that shit's not kind of cool at all um so yeah um thank you for listening to me vent I really wish I could go into more detail about exactly uh what happened but Again, I don't really want to spoil uh, anything for anyone who plans on enjoying this kind of content in the future. So, uh, thank you for listening. I hope I will have some kind of idea or um, some kind of further upload sometime before, you know, I have another absence that's like almost nine months long. Um, so, I hope to talk to you soon. Um, Say whatever you feel you need to say in the comments, and I will see you next time.